had um, an intersection um, of, you know, going south or northbound on 80th Street, the speed limit, you know, was like 55 at the time. And then you have a speed limit of 65 going east and west on 54. That in itself is dangerous, right? And then you have that angle, you know, that 90 degree angle intersection. And it was just, it just wasn't a, you know, a good environment for, for the motorists. The east-west traffic on 54 is still a 65 mile an hour um, roadway there. So any kind of collision there was, it was almost a guarantee you were gonna, you were gonna need med flight, rescue, extrication. And uh, since that uh, intersection was redone, it's virtually been trouble free for us. You're not trying to negotiate that intersection by crossing four lanes of traffic all at once. It's two at a time, and by far that has, uh, was the biggest impact on uh, making it safer. Uh, the, the second thing is, is that it, it eliminated, eliminated those 90 degree accidents, especially uh, vehicles on Highway 54 traveling 65 miles an hour. You get team bowed by a, a vehicle going 65 miles an hour, people are getting hurt. We had a lot of car accidents there, and I've been doing some also a volunteer a uh, rescue squad member, and terrible accidents. Uh, one was a logging truck where some people got killed and logs spilled all over. Um, people just underestimate the speed of the traffic going each direction, and they're trying to shoot across. They think they can get across. Um, since the J-turn's been there, I only remember one accident was minor since then. A girl pulled out and she thought that the car was actually in the other lane, but it was minor and no injuries, nobody got transported. We haven't had a major accident there since uh, the J-turn's been installed. Going back to when it was first being proposed, I think there was a, a lot of uh, hesitation because uh, people in the community around this area, they weren't familiar with them, but uh, we were able to have some good public hearings and show that uh, these types of intersections do prevent serious crashes and injuries and deaths. So. Took a little convincing, but uh, overall, I think it uh, ended up being to everybody's benefit. And now we're finally starting to see the, the benefits of that J-turn. I was skeptical when they put that intersection in. I thought, man, but the numbers are there. We've, you know, we've had very few fender benders, and if we've had them, they've been super minor. I'll be honest, I didn't know what a J-turn was. And I was trying to look at it on a map. I, you know, I was thinking, this looks goofy. You know, this, you know, this looks like a waste of time. But then once you do it, you quickly realize that, especially if you're hauling a trailer, you know, it, it's, it's, it's way beneficial. If you're driving a Prius or something, you don't think much about it. But when you're hauling trailers, and heavy trailers, and it takes you a, long, you know, a while to accelerate and get up to speed just to even get across, and then people coming at you at 65 miles an hour on both ways, well, it, it's way, way safer. There was a lot of consideration that the Department of Transportation was making. They um, had some options. I remember going to a lot of the meetings that were open to the public, not only to the people, um, but then the political leaders, you know, law enforcement, fire and rescue were, all right, we've got an issue here. Now let's, let's take a look at some of the options where we can make that intersection safer. And the RCUT was, uh, was something new that, I'll be honest, none of us really had heard about until uh, Department of Transportation. They had some engineers coming in and presenting it to us. And you know, we're looking at the traditional intersections and okay, maybe if you can widen it so a semi could fit in between, you know, uh, both east and westbound traffic, so there's at least enough room there. You know, I remember that was a consideration. An overpass, you know, was a consideration. And then the R-cut came out and we're like, it's just something that, you know, we weren't very familiar with. It's like roundabouts. You know, it's just, you haven't seen many of those around and now they're pretty popular. And once you get the information out from the Department of Transportation, you look at the safety factor. And if, um, you know, the roundabout or the arc cut shows that, that the intersection in that area can make it safer, that's what it's all about for us as far as law enforcement. Just going through the intersection on a consistent basis, it's just a smoother flow of traffic. Depending on which way you're going through the intersection, it just flows so much better. You can just come up, nobody's in that lane, you just pull right out, and you scoot over, and 
it's it's seamless. I mean, we, we don't have any problems anymore. I haven't had one concern, uh, people not knowing the, how to negotiate it. It was a very smooth transition. You have to look at the statistics and it shows. And we've had some minor crashes there, but nothing to the way it was, you know, pre uh, our cut. Um, this has been something that, you know, has worked. Listen to the traffic engineers. If, if they're recommending a J-turn uh, or some variation of that, because I know there are other variations out there, uh, listen to them. They're the experts. Uh, they have the data to show uh, what will make an intersection safer. Uh, they may even give you a couple of options on how to uh, make safety improvements at a particular intersection. But uh, listen to those traffic engineers that do this on a daily basis uh, because they'll have the, the, the experience, the knowledge, and the data showing you know, what will make that intersection safer. Endorse those intersections. Any improvement to those intersections is, is going to lessen you know, the severity of calls you're going to have on those intersections. I mean, I know that's what we do for a living, but we don't want to go to bad accidents, ones that are, you know, people are going to need critical care or med flight services. DOT does a nice job with the outreach of getting information out there. When there is a public meeting that um, people are getting the opportunity to go to, I will go to it, especially if it's something that you don't know much about. You know, get informed or get on the internet. <laughs> There's always a lot of information that you could pull up about any type of particular intersection like this, uh, but be aware of it. Um, like I said, the biggest challenge for us was really not knowing that, you know, we, it's something new, you know, but we knew that the end goal was to make that intersection safer. And then you, you know, you trust the people that you're working with to, to see it through. And right now that intersection is much safer than it was. I just think it's the safest thing out there.